Hi, I'm Gio Igual. Um, I won the Loyola Schools Award of the Arts for Photography. Um, ever since, I've been very passionate about the visual arts. Um, not just in photography, but also in film and graphic design in general. So that's why I'm also the design editor of the Gaidon. Um, I've been taking photos for the UAAP, for an institution outside Ateneo. Um, and of course, I've also, I'm also engaged in making a lot of films. Um, why the visual arts? I think the visual arts for me is uh, something that is underappreciated. It's underappreciated in a sense that um, people think a photograph is just a photograph or a design is a gra a nice something that is graphically designed is something that is just made out of Photoshop. When people fail to think that this is very well thought of. Um, a good photograph, a good design, a good poster, a good film is very well thought of in a sense that there's a lot of planning, there's a lot of intent with whatever you have to do, and there's a lot of things which it tries to say and more often than not, it loses its message while being interpreted by someone else. Um, that's why that's why I'm very passionate about the visual arts because I want to let people know that there is always something more which people try to say. There's always something more that goes beyond what is literal in a photograph, what is literal in a in a poster, or what the film is just trying to say. Um, there's always a story behind it, and that's for me through something shown visually for me is one of the best ways how to tell a story to other people. There's no greater satisfaction for me than seeing someone enjoying my work. Um, for me, I don't think it's true that an artist can just enjoy his or her own work. Na, Uy, gawa ko to. I don't care what other people have to say. I think this is the best. No, for me, the satisfaction comes from how people receive my work. And if I work really hard on it, if I put um, so many, so much hours thinking about it, designing it, and people appreciate it. That for me is enough. I don't need the affirmation. I don't need the. Oi pareng galing mo. Oi pareng ganda nito. I don't really need that. Eh. All I really need is people looking at it and seeing that they understand what I'm trying to tell them. That the message I want to tell them goes across very well. One of the times that I really want was inspired to do a lot better was while filming my thesis. Initially, you know, you do thesis because required siya. You do it because I want to graduate and I just want to get it over with. But talking to all those filmmakers, talking to all those who sacrificed ahead of time just in order to make ends meet, but at the same time to get their films done, it's very, it was really inspiring. It was, it was interesting also to hear that um, as technology evolves, I mean, nowadays, art is a little bit more accessible. There's more SLRs available. There are more um, computers available. Anyone can edit. Anyone can make a film, technically, with his or her own camera. But the essence of art remains. Eh? It goes back to the, to the idea of creating something that is distinctly you, that is um, well thought of, and that still attempts to create a message. At the end of the day, the heart of all your art goes back to what you want to say to other people. And that's what I learned the most out of thesis. I mean, if initially talaga, it was just a requirement. Now it's, now, somewhere along the line, we became really serious about it. We became really passionate about our thesis. And that's why we didn't just interview two or three filmmakers. We interviewed nine because we wanted to know more and we wanted to hear what they had to say and we felt that whatever their story was, everyone had to know it.